Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Sarah. And we're the Global Geezers. We're still in the UK, but it doesn't mean we can't go out and see the UK. So we are going to venture south of where we're staying and see a port town of Whitby and... Robin Hood's Bay. Robin Hood's Bay. Apparently it's this cute little village town in along the water and it's not very big. Whitby is a little bit bigger. It's a little bit north of Robin Hood's Bay, but um, apparently it's a favorite. So we're going to go check it out today. And like in true global geezer fashion, we did a lot of research on this place. <laughs> not. <laughs> so you get to experience it with us for the first time. So let's go. Well, we've made it to Robin's Hood. Actually, it's Robin Hood Bay, or Robin's Hood Bay. It's, it's, yeah. You have a car park that's free, and, but it's not free during the summer, so we're here in the winter. Heck, it is nice that there's a bathroom here too, so right from the car park, if you need to use the restroom, there you go. Looks like we have a low tide going right now. All right, for all you skateboarders, this is your hill. Yeah, we're gonna go down that and then we gotta come back up. I wonder how far some <laughs> Somebody's probably at home. I guess we shouldn't be walking down. Yeah, they try to squeeze down here. That's a street. Yeah. Oh, colorful doors. Which way? Yeah, we're lost. We're lost in Robin's hood. Well, I guess we made it down to the bay entrance because this is where all the boats are. We came 
and we conquered Robin's Hood. No, Robin Hood's Bay. Pretty place, not very much to it, but it's a cute little place. Interesting streets and angles and hills and it looks old. It looks old, I'm not gonna lie. Now, on to Whitby. Of course, we can now have to go back up the street. Yay. Ready? Ready for the climb? Well, then I guess you better sit down and start writing then, huh? All right, post postcard writing time. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, you hear wind, but you also hear me breathing really hard. Not that far to go. The car park is over there. All right, we followed Abbey Road all the way to the Abbey. I made it to Whitby Abbey, and we are in the car park, and it's free during the winter only. <laughs> March on until October, you got to pay to park. So, but I think there's a fee to get in. We will see. Part of the abbey wall somewhere right there. This is inside the courtyard, right next to the abbey. Of course, the abbey is on our left, and this is the courtyard. All right, we're in. 12 pound 20 each. It's got a little museum with some artifacts. So, yeah, let's take a look. OMG, look at this. Oh, and the sun is out. I'm so excited. It's a cool little abbey goes back one million years. No. I'm touching history. Beautiful. What do you think? I'm just shocked with the weather we're having. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is absolutely beautiful, but it wouldn't look half as lovely without the sun, like creating oh, the, ooh, the shadows. Look at that. That's so cool. You can really see the rock has been weather-worn being out in the open like this. Ready? I'll get you. Go. Run, Forrest. Come on, baby. 
it's not that bad. Run! And they do have a gift shop. I like this. All I need is a crown to go with it. Yes, you do. Just a crown. Little known fact that this is the abbey that inspired Bram Stoker to write Dracula. Ooh. Got a nice bright sunny day. You can see the the abbey that we just came from over my left shoulder. Now we're actually walking in the tourist area of Whitby. We're not in the main city per se. This is where you would come if you were a tourist and you wanted to see the harbor. And have fish and chips. And have fish and chips. Yeah, there's just a few, a few places here where you can get yeah. fish and chips. Not a lot. You have to look for them though. They're really tough to find. <laughs> Got a nice walking street. Oh, there you go. A place Ooh, for fish and chips. I see a spot I want to go to. Where, oh, where's that? The chocolate box. The chocolate oh. box. <laughs> I just ate. I don't know if I should walk across that bridge. Sarah Nick did run up this way, some chocolate place. Let's go find it. Oh, found it. Oh, I found the shopping area. thinking cool oh scones oh. <laughs> more good stuff oh, A lot of cool stuff. It's really neat to just walk around. Of course, it'd be a lot better in the summer. It's about 32 degrees and it's cold because you got the wind coming right off the bay. It's a little chilly. It's like there's a bluff up there you can go up to. I don't know if we're gonna go up there, but I think we might go out. Oh yeah. The Abbey is just right up there. You can see the side of the Abbey. You don't wanna walk out there? No. All right. No, we're not gonna walk out there. It's too cold. Too cold to walk out there. We're gonna head back for warmth.
We hope you enjoyed Robin Hood's Bay and Whitby. It was a really fun day. We had lots of sunshine, which we were thrilled about, even though it was icy cold. Yeah, that wind cut through a few times, and it was cold. But you got to be thankful for the little things here in the winter. So we had sunshine, and we stayed dry. Yes, we did stay dry. That's a bonus. Yay! But our time in the UK is coming to a close and we are headed off to a new country in a week. And we will show that to you on the next rousing adventure of the Global Geezers. Bye. Bye. 2,596, 2,597, 2,598. Oh, yeah. All right, so this is one of those little pay to come in places. It's only 50 pence, but good stalls, plenty of toilet paper, but hmm, what's that all about? Little known fact that this is the Abbey that inspired Brom Stoker. Brom, Brom. <laughs> Brom Brom Stoker. Brom. Stoker. Brom. Brom. Brom Stoker. Brom Stoker. Brom Stoker. <laughs> For our one millionth subscriber, Sarah will personally send you a postcard. We just have 999,900 and 600 left to go. So you're real close on getting a postcard from me.